So guys, I think most of us know of the website known as Dolls Kill. I used to buy from there a lot because they had and have a lot of cute stuff. Um, this was before I knew how problematic they were. If you search Dolls Kill on YouTube, not even Dolls Kill problematic or Dolls Kill controversy, just Dolls Kill, you'll find a ton of videos on um, the many things they've done. I haven't done just like a black eyeliner in a while, so I think I'm gonna do that. I think this eyeliner's dying on me. It's been sitting in here forever. They steal a lot of their designs from small businesses and claim them as their own. They have sold problematic things like offensive clothing items in the past. Let's see what else. Um, during the heights of the 2020 Black Lives Matter movement, Shoddy Lynn, I think, whatever her name is, I don't remember, um, posted something kind of pro-police on her Instagram page, which like, it was her personal Instagram page, I think, not like the Dolls Kill brand or anything, but still, I mean, come on. Um, you don't think people are gonna find that? This eyeliner is out of juice. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so that eyeliner didn't really work, so I'm just gonna go over it in black eyeshadow. Um, Anyways, I wouldn't be talking about Dolls Kill because there's so much information out there about what they've done. Um, there's no need for me to go over it, but I saw something interesting recently on r slash depop, which I don't even follow anymore, but Reddit just suggests that to me all the time. Oh my god, this is not turning out well. So let me read you what the post says. It says, warning, do not list Dolls Kill items. Apologies for the delay in our response and for the misunderstanding here. I've had a look and can see that these Dolls Kill items were removed as Dolls Kill doesn't allow the resale of their items. We recognize this is no fault of your own, but we do have to act on these takedown notices as these are official requests from the company. So Dolls Kill is going around. Miss Shady Lynn is going around and having people's listings removed from Depop and probably other places too, probably like eBay and Poshmark and whatever, for reselling Dolls Kill. And at first I was like really shocked by this because this is kind of something that would have affected me personally. I don't really sell on Depop anymore just because um, I donated most of my clothing uh, that I didn't want anymore because like I just can't I just don't have room for uh, extra clothes so I can't really resell right now but when I did I used to buy and sell a lot of Dolls Kill and and if you read the rest of this post this person got banned um, not permanently they got suspended let's see they got their Depop account suspended for three weeks um, they didn't just get the listing removed um, they're suspended for this, which like Depop is a huge source of income for some people. So that like really sucks. And it sounds like this person didn't even know that that wasn't allowed. I didn't know. I used to sell doll skill all the time. Luckily, nothing happened to me. It sounds like they've been cracking down very recently. Um, but I did some research and apparently this is something that brands do. This is kind of a common thing um, with like high end designer brands and other brands. Um, I watched this video on YouTube of some guy talking about how he, he was a reseller and he went into the Patagonia store and basically he tried to buy like hundreds of dollars worth, or no, 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 he tried to buy like hundreds of clothing items from their clearance section um, all at once and they basically they weren't gonna let him do that and they were gonna ban him from shopping there because obviously they could tell he was a reseller um, now that I understand a little bit more um, even though I don't agree with it I don't think brands should try to stop people from reselling I think that's kind of ridiculous because they're selling their product anyway like what does it matter if someone else makes money from it um, but that situation I understand a little bit more because obviously if you go into a store physically and try to buy like hundreds of items, probably like duplicate items to just clear out their whole clearance section, I get like how that could raise some eyebrows. 
However, going through apps, reselling apps and banning things uh, really bothers me a lot more because first of all, the reselling of clothing, thrifting, online reselling, all of that is obviously more sustainable and ethical than buying new, especially if you're buying like fast fashion. Um, it's also more sustainable than obviously throwing away your old clothing. And I get that um, this is like from the brand's perspective, right? They want to make money. So they think that maybe like people will buy something um, secondhand instead of as an alternative to like buying it in the store new. So they think that they're losing money that way. But I feel like there's an extra layer to it when it comes to specifically the brand doll scale because they're problematic they know they're problematic there's like so so many articles videos everything about all their wrongdoings um, and they don't seem to care that they're problematic and because of that i think that a lot of people including me would prefer to buy secondhand because we don't want to support dolls kill um, we just want their cute clothing and there's tons of it available secondhand so why not buy from a reselling app or at least there used to be. Um, I think that Dolls Kill knows this. There's kind of an extra layer of shadiness there. They're saying like, no, you have to support us if you want to wear our clothing. This is also kind of shady on Depop's part because, um, I mean, I used to sell Dolls Kill on Depop and it's like one of their official brands that you can list like um, from a drop down menu of like what your what your item is when you're listing something, Dolls Kill is on there. So I don't know, I think they need to take that away or make it more clear somewhere that you can't resell because this person got suspended from the whole app for this. Um, obviously this just sucks in every way because Dolls Kill was already bad and now they're worse. Um, I don't think they should ban resale of their items. I think that's ridiculous. I get that they, you know, it's a business, they need to make money, whatever, but can resellers really be hurting your profit that much? I don't know, maybe. I mean, I'm, I was the type of person who would always buy their items from resellers rather than go to their website, but that can't be that common. I mean, you have to get lucky to like find the perfect item secondhand, you know, like in your size and the one you want and the color you want and all that stuff. So I don't know, I think it's stupid. Um, I think this is just another reason to not buy from Dolls Kill. Um, let's just let that brand die, please. Okay, that's all. Just wanted to rant for a few minutes and do my eye makeup. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.